Okay, Ford Focus, third generation, air filter replacement. All right, what you need to do is pop the hood, wear gloves, and you need a eight millimeter socket in a screwdriver. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, anyway, it's eight millimeter. Here's the air filter cover which there are four screws you need to pop up or unscrew there's a reason for this but uh, I'll get to that later this screw are self-retainer so basically you just un unscrew it and you will stay in place so don't worry about dropping it unless you actually pull them up and here you go one this is what I mean, self-retain, so they're holding it in place. And two. Third one. And the last one is over here. see that it's right there and what I mean the Ford Focus third generation I think is about a model year 2012 and above but anyway this is a Mark 3 Focus okay now let's lift it up Ta-da! That's your price air filter. It looks new. That's because I just changed it, but I'm showing it to you how to change it again. But anyway, to change that, you pop the cover, and then you start leaving off from here. See, actually. Here is the rubber garment, it actually connects to the air tube, which usually is a very tight fit, but in order to pop it up, you leave it from here, on the right side of it, so basically you leave it up, okay. it will be much easier if I do it with both hands, but uh, I'm holding the camera, so here we go. it a little bit here we go here is the air filter it looks huge it's a radio type you see there's a notch over there this is a genuine Ford air filter I'm not sure about out of aftermarket if they have a notch there or not but anyway there's a reason for that you see there's a slot over there so basically when you put it back in you put the slot over there and slot it in now that's the easy part. The hardest part is when you put it in, there's a trick you need to follow in order to do that. Conventional thinking, you probably just drop it in and put it on, but it's not. It's not that simple. Ford doesn't really make it easier for us as a DIY. So in order to do that, again, once you got a new new filter, right? Here is the slot I'm talking about. You need to slot the whole filter in. And then you need to connect the garment over there where the computer installed. So in order to do that with your new filter, first you put it into the slot first. that here we go 
um, for the hot, for the light. Sorry about that. Anyway, you get the idea. You usually need to use these two tabs here to hold your filter in place. And then you squeeze the filter in to put the neck into the tube itself. You cannot really put the tube first and then slot it in. I tried that, it's almost impossible to do. So you need to do this part first and then squeeze the air filter into the tube to adjust that. And you need both hands to do that. Alright, here we go. Put the filter against both tabs and put the slot, put into the slot. Like that. Now you need both hands. Here what I'm going to do. Let me put down the camera. Let me show you. It's a little bit tricky. Okay. Now both hands. Squeeze. Squeeze it down and slot in. You hear a kind of a click thing, but Actually, is where the air filter rubber grommet is actually fit into the tube itself. Now, you need to kind of press again the outside, give it a little bit, squeeze, put the things into place. Definitely, thought didn't make it easier for us to do that. Make sure your rubber neck from the air filter is fully sit against the tube itself, which you see here. Now you are almost half done. What next? You can screw in the cover yet, because you have one more job to do. Here, you will look at it carefully. You need you see the slot over there. You need to actually put or, or you need to actually slot the air filter into that groove in order to make it sit correctly. Hope you can see that. Right now it's not yet sit into the groove. So in order to do that Put it into the place, which again, and we need both hands uh, for demo purpose. Using one hand to do that, but I don't think I can make it work. So let me put on the camera first. Now, you can see that the filter edge is slot against the groove. And this is what you need to seat the filters correctly back to the base. You see this knot. So, it fit into the slot. Yep, here we go. Now, you're almost done. The last part, put the cover back on. Here's the cover. Again, the filter will need to sit inside the, the cover, but not the outside. So when you put it back in, 
you actually need to carefully position it by using the screw hole to make your alignment which is not too bad because you already done the hard part Bring the screw and make sure you slot back everything or snap everything back in place correctly make sure nothing is going out of place Right. The last part is to screw it back on. Just make it snug is good enough because these are all plastic, so don't over tighten it. You put on the camera. Again, you need both hands to do that. Just make sure you put the cover aligned correctly before you screw back all the, put back all the screw otherwise you need to do it again. It's a little bit pain in the butt but yeah that's European design I think. Alright. Keeping back in place. Line everything and again make sure your filter is not sticking out it should be look like that it's inside the cover so last part let's screw it back on four screws again just make it snug and good enough these are all plastics only so don't over tighten it Oh, you have a bad day. And remember I said there's a reason for that. Yeah. The reason is they can't use a snap on that because you need to align the cover. And it's a pain in the butt to do that. And that's about it. Thanks everyone for watching.